Make sure you do a warm up before you try this. Let's begin with the foundational cobra. Bring your feet together, hands right underneath your shoulders. Your feet, your thighs, and your pubic bone are gonna press the floor away. Move on the exhale, take a deep breath in. And on your exhalation, start lifting, coiling your spine like a snake from top to bottom. Use the strength of your back and your legs to hold you up rather than the strength of your arms. So you see, if I lift my hands, I'm still in the same position. Your hands can drag back instead, helping you open your chest and your throat. Look up at one point and breathe. And now slowly reverse from bottom to top. Let's try that a few times. Inhale, feet together, strong legs. Exhale, start lifting from the top of your head, your chin, your throat opens, your chest, shoulders rolled back, hands dragged back. Breathe, embrace the heat, and slowly reverse out of the pose. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, and exhale. Lift in a circular kind of motion, like a snake. Feet are together and pushing the floor away. And slowly reverse out of the pose. Now open your feet about as wide as your mat. We're gonna do some cobra lifts. Bring your hands by your sides Palms facing down, strong, engaged legs, feet push the floor away, pubic bone pushes the floor away. Take a deep breath in and exhale, lift as high as you can. You might be here, maybe you're here or maybe you're here, wherever you are, just use your willpower and intention and slowly come back down. Inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale as you come down, lift, keep going. Inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, Lift. Lift. Inhale. Lift. Inhale. Lift. Keep going. Two more. Last one. And lift. Hold it. Try to hold it wherever you are. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, slowly. Calm down. Just focus on pressing the floor away with your feet, your thighs, and your pubic bone. Use the strength of your core to help you lift and hold yourself up there. It doesn't matter how high you go, you're still working on your back strength and active flexibility. So now, lift your feet where they are, about as wide as your mat, or a little bit closer if you'd like. Bring your hands right underneath your shoulders again. Pubic bone pushes the floor away. Take a deep breath in. Strong legs, 
and on the exhale, again, lift, curl your spine like a snake. This time, you can walk your hands closer to your hips and use the strength of your arms to help you lift higher towards the ceiling and back to the wall behind you. Keep breathing. Do your best to breathe with ease and to find a sense of comfort here. You can take a few bounces up and down to deepen a little bit more. Legs are engaged. If you have any feeling of discomfort in your low back, try engaging your glutes. Stay here for a second. Keep breathing. And now slowly reverse out of the pose from bottom to top. So your head is going to come down last. And take a little rest just for a bit. So I'm showing you these cobras first. So you can get used to the feeling of coiling your spine from top to bottom in a circular kind of motion. This way, you will work on your back strength and your awareness in the pose. The more you reach back and open your throat and your chest, the easier it will be for your head and feet to touch eventually. So now let's try a king cobra. Leave your feet where they are, hands right underneath your shoulders. Strong feet, pubic bone pushes the floor away. Take a deep breath in. And on your exhalation, start lifting, coiling your spine. Walk your hands closer to your hips. And look up and back towards the wall behind you. Now you can start lifting your feet closer to each other and towards your head. If they don't reach your head, then just keep reaching, honoring that space. If they reach your head, then stay. Keep breathing trying to find joy and comfort. When you're ready, first, feet back down, look back, and slowly reverse out of the pose. Take a little rest. Let's try that again. Hands underneath shoulders, strong foundation first. Before you lift, look at your foundation, at your feet, your pubic bone, engage your legs. Inhale, exhale, lift. You can come into your fingertips if you'd like. I like to stay on my palms. Reach back, lift your feet together and towards your head. Focus on one point and stay wherever you are. Trying to find stillness joy and comfort. When you're ready, first feet down 
and wizards. Rest. It's not easy. It takes effort and willpower to kind of have to try to find a balance between effort and ease, um, comfort and discomfort. Try to move slowly and in a mindful way. So I wouldn't recommend you to enter the pose just this way. That doesn't feel good, very good in the spine. And you can't support a strong backbend that way, in my opinion. I also remind you to keep your pubic bone on the floor at all times. So even if it might be easier for your feet and your head to touch with your pubic bone lifted, that is not going to help you to have a strong foundation and to work towards other cobra variations. So I'm just going to show you real quick. Don't just lift your pubic bone off the mat in this way and then kind of just try to reach however. So try to avoid that. Um, let's just try a King Cobra one more time. First look at your alignment. Inhale. And exhale, start lifting. With your hands closer to your hips. Look back, breathe, now lift your feet and bring them towards the head. Wherever you are, just honor your practice, your body and the process. When you're ready, first feet come down, look back, and reverse. Head comes down, last. Take a rest. Now, if you've been practicing King Cobra for a while, and you feel comfortable in the pose and ready for a new challenge, I'm going to show you a little flow you can try. So set up for a King Cobra, inhale, exhale, lift, feet to head, stay here for a moment, now bring your feet away from your head and bring one hand to the same side knee and the other to the other knee. Now try to bring your feet back to touch with your head and stay. Strong core, strong legs. Steady drishti. Look at one point. Now try to bring your feet back down, hands stay under the knees, and maybe you can lift. Breathe, hold it. Now gracefully, come back down. Head comes last and rest. It's challenging, but you can work towards it, practicing King Cobras and Cobra Lifts. It's always nice to come to a puppy pose 
after all this effort. So come to a tabletop and bring your hands to the top of the mat and surrender your chest, your throat and your armpits to the mat. Maybe your chin touches with the mat. Maybe your forehead. Wherever you are, just take deep breaths and try to surrender and release. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders and press yourself back up. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know how it felt and if you have any questions. Have a beautiful day and thanks for watching. Namaste.